Hey, what's up, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to Life's Magical Journey. I'm Life, and on today's video, we're going to talk about how our circumstances really don't matter when it comes to us wanting to change our circumstances, when it comes to us wanting to manifest something different into our lives, when it comes to us wanting to move forward and ahead in life. It really doesn't matter where we are right now. And I'm talking about when it comes to love, whether it be a friendship or a relationship, some sort of relationship with another human being, it comes to our health or it comes to our finances. Those are really the big things that can really trip some of us up and keep us focused in on that issue. Unfortunately, in this society, that's how we're trained to handle our issues. If we have something that we prefer not to have in our lives, we're trained just to look at it, analyze it, see what we can do, try to push against it. But what you resist persists. And so the more you say, I don't want debt, you're going to have debt. The more you say, oh my God, I can't stand being alone, the more you're going to be alone. And so in today's video, we're going to talk about some steps that you can take, actionable steps that you can take to change your reality. So number one, number one slash two, because I'm going to tell you, you can probably interchange these depending on where you are. You could either take responsibility for it, which I recommend. Take responsibility for where you're at. Look at it and analyze where you are. Don't take long on it, but just see where you are and embrace that situation as being something that you created or you can go straight up to number two and just ignore your current reality that sounds crazy right that sounds like okay you want me to like jake ducey always says be delusional be absolutely delusional be absolutely crazy be out of your mind and not focusing in on this reality the next thing is going to be positive self-talk positive self-talk whether you are talking to yourself about yourself or you are talking to other people about yourself positive self-talk is going to be crucial to how you are showing up for the world. If you're the type of person that says out loud, I'm broke, I'm lonely, I suck, I hate this and I hate that. If you're that type of person to speak like that about yourself or to yourself or to other people, you are going to stay in that circle of broke, lonely, whatever it is. So remember that you need to speak positively about yourself at all times, whether it's in your head or if it's out loud. The next thing is going to be meditation. So we all know that we have about 60 to 70,000 thoughts in a single day. Those thoughts come from our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is below consciousness, so that's not something we're actually really choosing in that moment. It's something that's just running on GP. So that mind, that part of our mind runs about 95% of the things that we do and the things that we say and how we act, how we show up for the world. So only 5% of our mind is from our choice, our conscious choices. So I want you to understand how important meditation is to slow those 60 to 70,000 thoughts down so that you can interject with purpose, so that you can interject thoughts that you want to nurture, that you want to be a part of your everyday reality. It's also gonna give you a stronger connection to your inner being, to your inner guidance system, trying to point you in the right direction. You can't always feel the right direction when you are bombarded with so many thoughts and so much going on in your mind. We're also really trained to look at that current situation and we want to analyze it and we want to break it down and put it back together and see what we can do. But we need to wait for inspired action. We need to meditate so that we can know what inspired action to take. What is the next right move? That's something that Oprah always says. You will better be able to discern that if you slow down your thoughts through meditation. Stop looking at whatever your reality is because that reality can change that quickly. And you are the one, the only one that can change it. So I want you to give yourself permission to change your reality. Give yourself permission to change your own mind and change what you expect out of your life. It's like we've been talking about the things that you expect make your vibration and your vibration is your point of attraction. So these are all the universal laws working together 
but you can work them. They don't have to just work on their own. You can use them with purpose. Be a deliberate creator. Don't just create by default. Don't just create whatever the program told you to create today. Because the truth is, we all have this power. We can each do it. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter what race or creed or color you are. It doesn't matter what type of music you like. Everyone can do this. And so I want to encourage you, no matter who you are or where you are in this world, I want you to know that you are the star of this movie and that you need to act like you are the star of this movie. Do not break character. Keep on being the star. Keep on deliberately using your mind. That's why we always talk about how the mind actually works. It's not just you sitting and hoping things work out. It's you understanding how the mind works and using that to your benefit, using that and this whole universe to revolve around you. There's nothing you can't be, do, or have. I want you guys to know that. I want you guys to know that you are worthy. There isn't anything you can think of that you can't attain. If you can hold it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So remember that when you're thinking about your goals and thinking about what your circumstances are currently. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. If you can ignore those circumstances, I promise you, you will find whatever it is you're looking for, whatever is going to make you happy. You are the star of this movie. Everything you say goes. And so the more you know that, the more you use that knowledge with purpose, the further you're going to get, the closer you're going to be to wherever you want to be. Okay, so I'm super excited for you guys. I hope that you are getting something out of these videos. If you are, don't forget to hit like. I love you all for no reason at all. I'll see you next time.